I think Jordan Brand just messed up. They gave this shoe the wrong name. At least I think they did. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Aqua Air Jordan 6s. And I'll be explaining to you why I think this shoe should have a different name. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now before we get into all the details of this shoe, you know we gotta talk about the history first and how this shoe even came about. Back in 1993, MJ debuted the Air Jordan 8s. We saw three different colorways, the Bugs 8s, the Playoff 8s, and a lot of people's favorite, the Aqua 8s. Since then, we saw the Aqua 8s in 2007. Those were some nostalgic times for your boy. And then we saw the Retro in 2015 as well. Over the past few years, we have seen multiple colorways get put on the Air Jordan 6s, for example, the Hair 7s, we saw those on the 6s in 2020, and then we saw the Bordeaux 7s on the 6s in 2021. And we've seen plenty other cases like this, but this one, it's still rubbing me the wrong way. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can break these things down and show you guys everything I'm talking about. All right, so looking at the box, this does look similar to most of the Air Jordan 3 boxes that we've seen over the past few years, how they kind of incorporate that elephant print throughout the top of the box and they split it with the different colors accessorizing, kind of matching with the colorway of the shoe. Now, even though I would prefer to see the OG Air Jordan 6 box with the different coloring like this style, I'm not mad at this simply because it's not an OG colorway. So I get where they're going. Let me know what y'all think about that down below in the comment section, just simply off the presentation of the box. And yes, we have seen this box style before for Jordan 6s, like the DMP 6s or the Chrome 6s. So this isn't the first time this has been done. Now going to the front of the box, it reads Air Jordan 6 Retro, Black, Bright Concord, Aqua Tone, size 13, just for me. And I wanna say the retail on these was 200 bucks. Now lifting open the lid of the box, you got your standard white paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. I'm still confused why they came up with the name of Aquas, because they look more like the grapes. And don't worry, I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, but we're gonna be comparing the Black Grape Fives and the Aqua Eights to these right here, and showing you guys the similarities and differences between the two shoes, and then you guys can make your final judgment at the end but for now let's go ahead and start breaking down all the styles cuts and materials on this shoe starting with the outsole right here you got your standard air jordan 6 bottom right here you got a purple jump man in the middle of the foot all black with the rubber and then your translucent areas on the front and back end with the icy blue tint now going up to the side of the foot right here you got your two-tone midsole you got your aqua tone and your concord purple on the side of the foot wrapping around the back as well and then your little hit right here on the inside of the foot and then around the heel of the foot you got an all white encapsulated air unit right there for the bubble and then to the upper all black suede throughout the entire thing this is another switch up when it comes to the materials on this shoe i guess one thing i would say potentially you could compare these to the georgetown air jordan sixes when it comes to the materials of those compared to the fives and the eights that i'm going to be showing you guys later in the video now these come standard with a pair of all black laces and honestly i rarely see general release air jordan sixes come with an additional pair of laces so this is what you get if you want to switch it out you're going to have to do that yourself but continue Continuing on with the rest of the shoe, you got your black nylon mesh right here and a purple stitch inside of there with your Jumpman in the middle. And then your lace lock is also all black with a purple Jumpman as well. And then you have a black rubber tongue with the Air Jordan branding classic to the Air Jordan 6, another piece that I really, really love. Going to the back end of the shoe right here, you have all black and you have the same thing, all black stitch with the Jumpman in the air behind that. Could it have looked a little bit better or popped a little bit more if they added purple or turquoise? Yes. Do I think they should have done that? Yeah. But we'll get into that in a minute because the comparisons, you'll see what I'm saying when it comes to the coloring and what color I think they should have did back here too. Now going to the sock liner and the heel tab right here, you got all black on both of those with a purple stripe around the tab. And then on the insole, all purple with the turquoise jump man right there. So just quick looking at the shoe, it's definitely a very basic and simple colorway, but a nice pop and splash of colors, giving you something different than we typically see because we always see a lot of red black and whites and a lot of blue black and whites different stuff like that so definitely that's another reason why I like this shoe especially with me being an Air Jordan 6 lover <laughs> I'm probably a little bit biased but with all the bias aside I'm interested to see what you guys think with these compared to the black grape fives and the aqua eights so technically these are called the aqua sixes so we'll go with the aqua eights first and then we'll check out the black grade fives next. Okay, so hear me out. Definitely similar, yes, but a lot of differences on these two shoes. So when it comes to these two shoes, definitely very similar, but for all my sneaker wizards out there, these are definitely different. So as you can see right here, just looking at the back half of the two sneakers, first off, the color of purple, a little bit different. You got that silver speckle within the purple, definitely not the same. And then the back end, you got all gray right here and all black right here. So to me, if they would have did an aqua colorway 
on the sixes, how dope would it have been if they would have actually added that gray material right here compared to having that black suede on the back end? Really giving it that Aqua 8 vibe, but on the Air Jordan 6. Now the next part is the gray material goes right here around the eye holes, around the front end of the foot. Potentially they could have threw some gray right here on the triangles on the front end where the laces are at. And then another thing that really, really stands out and is a huge iconic piece to the Aqua 8s, the red Jumpman with the different colors right here on the chenille patch. Now I know there's no chenille patch on the Air Jordan 6s, but if you could add a red Jumpman right here instead, or do a red Jumpman on the back end of the foot, it would definitely really align really, really well. And then obviously you can tell the difference between the materials on the two uppers when it comes to these two shoes. And then like I talked about earlier, you got the purple Jumpman on the bottom of the sixes and you got the red Jumpman right here on the bottom of the eight. Again, if you would have added that red touch here, definitely would have been a nice addition to the shoe. Okay, okay, now hear me out. Look at the Air Jordan 5 black grapes and the Air Jordan 6 aquas. Tell me these don't look way more similar to each other than the Aqua 8s do. I'm just saying. Taking a look at the midsoles, you can see, yes, the color is a little bit different. You got more of that emerald color here on the Air Jordan 5 and more of that aqua tone right here on the Air Jordan 6. Looking at the heel, look at that right there. They could have put the aqua color and matched it with that. You know what I'm saying? And then do the same thing, or should I say grape color because it's a little bit different. It's Concord grape compared to, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. Now let's look at the front of the shoe. These have a purple tongue with that turquoise Jumpman right here. And then the turquoise on the lace lock with the bib. Now this right here could have potentially been a similar thing. You could have done the purple nylon with the turquoise here, switch it up a little bit, but either way, very, very similar. And then this one has a, a turquoise insole and the sixes have a purple insole. But one thing I can say is the Aqua 8s, the insole, I love that addition. It matches the bottom of the outsole right here. And I think even if they kept everything the same on these sixes and just added the insole with the print on the bottom like we saw or the insole on the Air Jordan 8s, that would be a nice addition for us sneaker heads out there. I think that's a dope touch and giving us that Aqua 8 vibes. But again, these are all preferences. I'm just here to plead my case and tell you guys what I think about the styles, cuts, materials, and the differences between all the retros and the different variations that we've seen over the years. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see any more in-depth, detailed reviews or crazy PEs or samples, you name it, hit that subscribe button because we got a lot more cool stuff coming. I appreciate you guys as always. I'm out. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA, hey, the hey, only bro. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA